Hello, this is GeoTechLand, and today I'll be playing Uncharted on the RPCS3 emulator using uh, Linux rather than Windows. This video is actually going to be a normal uh, Windows video or version, you know, just as I've been playing. But I decided to do something. Now, the RPCS3 emulator has been working on Linux uh, since a while back now. And I've been playing this game and testing it on Linux, but it doesn't look, it never looked as pretty. So it was always very glitchy. And like you see now on the bottom right. So yes, I, and it was, the performance was maybe around the same maybe a little bit less so I didn't bother really making any videos yet on Linux here but I've been having this issue with uh, Uncharted where on Windows I um, I can't get to the second stage it just doesn't work the Vulcan driver on AMD crashes and no matter how many times RPCS3 has been updated or uh, how many times AMD updates the drivers it just still crashes whereas on Linux using the open source Mesa drivers it didn't actually crash now but you, you can obviously see it's a trade-off this doesn't crash going to level 2 as you'll see but the gameplay itself is hideous although ironically this even performs, I think, a little bit faster now than the Windows version. And ironically, even though the graphics are terrible right here on Linux, the gameplay is a lot more fun. And, you know, as you all know, the thing with games is the gameplay is, comes first in graphics. And the fact that I get a smoother performance here, and the fact that it doesn't crash as much as when I test it on Windows, is actually much more enjoyable overall. So just even recording, even though I'm not planning on playing this game until it gets a lot more smoother on this emulator. Testing on uh, Linux here is a lot better just because I don't have to con keep on restarting because these don't crash. I mean, it does crash, but just way, way less than uh, Windows. Now, it was actually, I've tested this using Linux on Vulkan and OpenGL. And for a while, I, I also was kind of having issues with Vulkan. Originally, when I first got to the second level on Linux, it was with OpenGL. But I think recently there have been some changes with Vulkan on Linux that have actually gotten me to the second stage as well. Yeah, I mean, kind of sucks because, yeah, because I don't have, um, can't see the little aim button there, and I'm, I'm a noob when it comes to shooters, so, and even though this is not a FPS, it's still hard for me here. Uh, gotta reload. I'm hoping this won't crash on you guys. Here comes this little dude. But yes, the performance has been a lot smoother here. Obviously, the graphics is a pain to look at. But again, it's just a way more fun to play it this way. Now, I should actually mention too that my original plan was to um, use this save file. So I get to the second level, use the save file, load it onto the Windows game and show the performance of stage two on Windows. But that plan failed because it, it appears that 
just level two in in general just breaks AMD's Vulcan drivers. I thought it was oh maybe it's just loading to level two is what's breaking it, but it seems that it's the entire level two that's doing it. So I'm gonna skip movie. And lo and behold, here I am. Level two. So this is all I really wanted to show you guys in this video. Um, I didn't really want to show you the overall performance too much necessarily because it's only a little bit better than Windows and obviously it's sacrificing graphics quality. I just want to show you guys that I can get to level 2 on Linux and compare that with Windows. And obviously that's because um, Mesa drivers are open source so I would imagine the developers of this emulator can see and even contribute to changes, honestly, to make the experience here better. And it's probably gonna get freeze on me, but all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.